take your pick tonight, you can win his and hers Calvin Klein fragrances. <laughs> a top-of-the-range TV and video player. <laughs> a serious home gym by Kettler with an exercise bike, rowing machine and treadmill. A thrilling and unforgettable weekend scuba diving in Malta. A magnificent brass bed and a set of the finest bed linen. And the Take Your Pick treasure chest containing £1,000. And you can also win a Carling Black Label. Half a pound of black pudding. And a dipstick. And tonight's star prize is a holiday for two in beautiful San Francisco and fabulous Las Vegas, where the stars go to play and perform and where the action goes on for a non-stop 24 hours a day. And now, meet the man with the cash and the keys, Des O'Connor. Thank you. Thank you, good evening. Good evening, we're going to take your pick. Now, all our contestants, as you know, are chosen right here in the studio before we get on air. That's correct, isn't it? Yes! yes! Now, they're all going to get a chance to win some of those fantastic prizes in a little while. First, they've got to play the yes-no game with me. Mustn't say yes, mustn't say no, mustn't nod or shake their heads. Give them a pound for every second, but if they get it wrong, they'll get a gong. And here's that girl with that golden gong, Jody Wilson! Yeah! Very smart. Thank you. Let's have a little look at that. Very That's smart. So I, li I like that. It's really, really nice. Hey, I rang you this morning. You did? I rang you and I got that machine again. Do you like answer phones? No. <laughs> uh, this one's got a very flash message. You've got a flash message on yours. <laughs> yes. Kindly leave a message after the gong. Oh. <laughs> your message I rang you yesterday nothing wrong with my message well, the message is all right but do you have to sing it <laughs> I mean please speak after the dicker dum dum <laughs> I don't have time to sing the whole of careless hands <laughs> I'll do a new message <laughs> we um we, we have a bit of fun. You should try this, you know. A lot of people are doing sort of answer phone messages. Ring around. We did some today, didn't we? We rang some people. We rang Ronnie Corbett. He said, I'm in at the moment, but I can't reach the phone. We rang, <laughs> we rang Oliver Reed. He said, I'm in at the moment, but I can't find the phone. <laughs> we rang the Labour Party. They said, we're out at the moment, and we don't expect to be in for years and years. We <laughs> 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 get the first suggestion to play the yes <laughs> Stand there, Paul. Nice and relaxed. We're on the air. We're counting down for now. Where are you from, Paul? Woking. Have you got friends here? I have. Go Woking. I'm going to be there at Panda at Christmas. Are you going to come and see me? I might. Jodie's there as well. You want to come and see her? I might. What do you mean you might? You should definitely go to see her. Listen, what do you do for a living? I'm a driver. You're a driver. Do you go all over the country or just local? You ever Mainly been to Scotland? Have you ever been to Scotland? Have you been to Birmingham? I have. Been to Bournemouth? I have. Do you swim? I do. Do you play tennis? I do. Table tennis? Table? I do. Do you play all of these? Most sports. What sports don't you play? Very little. You, you don't play anything sort of like indoor sports like darts and those kind of things? Now and again. Let me ask you about your holidays. You're going to get married soon? Very shortly. You're nodded. One more nod and you're going to go. You're going to get married soon? Very shortly. Where are you going to go on your honeymoon? We haven't got one yet. You haven't got one? Well, maybe you can win one tonight. Would you like to do that? I would. Will she be watching tonight? She's here. She's here? She is. That one more nod and you're definitely going to go. You're biting your lip. <laughs> right now then, what, are you hoping to have a big family when you eventually get married? We would like to. Boys or girls? Both. Both. One of each. That'd be nice. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> You're going to be a tough nut to crack, I can see that. Have you seen the Batman movie, the new one? I haven't. You haven't? You don't want to go? I would. Do you like Mash Michelle Pfeiffer? <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is Alison. She's got a picture of me. I can't say. Waste time at the moment. Alison, where are you from? Kent. Kent, that's a lovely part. That's the Garden of England, isn't it? It is. It is. You didn't know, did you? I didn't. Are those glasses, are they uh, for long sight, short sight? Short sight. Short sight. I'm short sight. Did you know that? I didn't. I can only just about see you. Are you aware of that? I have you ever been swimming? I have. Have you passed your driving test? I have. First time? Second. Second time. Well, did you make any mistakes? I reversed. You reversed into what? <laughs> a lorry. Do you have a child? Do you have <laughs> into a lorry? We'll talk about that later on. Was the lorry driver upset? I he bet wasn't. he was. Do you smoke? 
I don't. You don't smoke? Do I you don't. think smoking is good? Do you think you should smoke? Do you think no. people should stop? No, there was an odor. <laughs> now the next person in here, please. Very good. That's good tonight. Barbara, that's stand right. up, Barbara. Where are you from, Barbara? Wickham. Wickham, that's in Lancashire. No, but... No, that's right. Now oh, the next contestant in here, please. <laughs> you have Paul. I am. Paul, did your mother decide she wanted Paul or Peter? Is there any question about the name? She wanted Paul. Is that your father's Paul. name? It's not. It's no. not? <laughs> you nearly said no. You're not going to say no, are you? Are I you won't. married? Are you married? I am. Have you got any children? I haven't. You haven't got any children yet? Do you hope to have one? Sue. Sue, who's your favourite football team? Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace. Did they win the cup last year? No. No! <laughs> and the next contestant right in here, please. <laughs> Relax, Louise. It sounds like you've got your entire fan club out. Now, get you nice and cosy. Just relax, Louise. Do not panic. I'm going to do everything I can because I've been a bit cruel to this. But when I get someone around about my mature type, you know. All right, now, Louise, where are you from? London. London. Which... Wands Wandsworth. Anywhere Wandsworth near the Road. Heath? That's Wandsworth Road. Road. Near know... Vauxhall. Near Vauxhall. And that's right. By the bridge. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Contestant, please. Hello, you are Pauline. Paul, right. Where do you live, Paul? Turn around, relax. Chelmsford. Do you know Jimmy Tarber? I don't. Have you never met Jimmy Tarber? I have. Who's your favourite singer? Do you like my Des O'Connor? Do you like him? Look I me do. in the eyes. You think I I'm? Do. do you think I do all right? Have you ever been swimming? Do you have, have a boyfriend? Do you have a boyfriend? I'm married. You're married. I am. Let me ask you about these spots on this dress. Did you make this dress yourself? I did not. Did you ever, did you ever when you were a child, do something silly? I can't remember. You can't remember? I can't. What did you do for a living before you got married? I got married very young. Did you? I did. What age? 16? No. No, that's right. <laughs> right. We're going to check those scores. Those who last the longest will go on to play Take Your Pick right after the break. See you then. <laughs> Welcome back. Jerry, bring on the first contestant to play Take the Pick. Paul did it all. He's our yes no chart with 60 seconds. 60 seconds, Paul. That's pretty good. Well done, Joe. Paul Sheridan, 24. I've just got these notes here from Woking. You work, you work for your future father in law. That's right. So you're going to marry the boss's daughter, are you? Seems that way. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, what, is, what do you work at at the moment yourself? Well, we uh, transport uh, consultancy and uh, do a bit of driving and help out in the office and everything else. When's the wedding going to be? Soon, obviously. First of August. You're going to have a wedding soon. 150 people are going to be at the wedding. That's right. But it says here you can't afford a honeymoon. That's very true. Very true. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, you're going to have a big night, a big day. That's wonderful. Now, but you know, you know, there are prizes here. You could win yourself a, a honeymoon tonight. It'd be very nice. Right. If you did go on a honeymoon, uh, it says... <laughs> You read that, what they said you said there. Wanted to be very active. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm assuming that he will be, uh, Paul. You play football for Chobham? That's right. Broken your leg three... What do you mean, broken your leg three or four times? I was a little bit suspect. They had to do it again. <laughs> you broken your leg... <laughs> Are you going to play this game now? It's a different game altogether. First of all, you've got to get three out of four questions right. Answer the questions, we'll get you a key. A key will open one to ten boxes. I do not know what's in one to ten, but I do know what's in box 13. That's the other key that may turn your way if you choose the right number. And this is the number that will also open box 13 tonight. <laughs> OK, first question. These are the silly questions you can relax, OK? Who was England's opening fast bowler for many years? Was it Freeman, Hardy or Willis? Willis. Willis, yes, of course it was. <laughs> Man Friday came to the rescue of which fictional castaway? Robinson Crusoe. Robinson Crusoe. <laughs> oh, you're going to get this. I think, I think, because the sport, would you believe it, is football. Football. 
Name the football club managed by Kenny Dalglish after he left Liverpool. Blackburn Rovers. Yeah, Blackburn Rovers. Yeah. There the key. Take your pick. <sighs> Number five. Number five. Where are we? Number five. Used to be centre half in the old days. Five pound. No. Fifty pound. No. Fifty-five pound. No. One hundred and fifty-five pound. No. Two hundred pound. No. Paul, two hundred fifty pound. No. I'll give you. I'll give you two hundred seventy-five pound. No. No. Three hundred pound. No. No. Three hundred and fifty pound. No. Sorry. All right. Now he's pretty determined. I get. I get the feeling when they're going to turn it on. At three hundred and fifty pounds, you've turned down. You can open. Box number five. We well, wish you luck, especially with a little chance of winning a honeymoon. Oh, I can feel the pressure in there. <laughs> How's the leg? Is the leg all right? The leg's fine. Yeah, don't lean on anything. <laughs> hand, me, hand me that little card. This is it. Oh, we're, we're all rooting for you, boy. It's a bit of pressure, isn't it? OK, he's turned down a lot of money, and he's won a stunning brass bed, complete with a luxury bedroom. Brilliant. 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 Thanks very much. That's very perfect much. for you. Thanks very much. <laughs> And the next contestant right in here. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Pauline's our leading lady tonight with 41 seconds. 41 seconds, Pauline. Thank you, Jody. <laughs> Says here, 38 Chelmsford you're from? Yes. Nice part. You can relax. You can say yes. You can say no. You can give me a little squeeze. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you've been married 19 years. It says here you've got a cockatiel. Yes. Not a cock or two, but a cock or two. You haven't got a what? Cock or two. A cock or two. <laughs> it hates your husband. I yes. mean, how do you know it hates your husband? Because it bites him. It doesn't. What, does he put his finger in a cage or something? Yes. It bites him. Well, anybody, if they put the finger in, would get that. It doesn't bite me. Oh. <laughs> it's quite clean on me as well, but not my husband. <laughs> I reckon he's good with you because he knows who's boss. <laughs> right, you have a chance now when yourself something very special. They're the keys. First of all, you've got to get the answers. OK, now these first questions, you know, they're a bit silly, a bit of fun. Which is the correct... <laughs> Wait, don't rush in, all right? Which is the correct TV slogan of the following? I know a man who can. I know a man who can't but thinks he can. I know a man who could but he needs 48 hours' notice. Yeah, that's right. Simple, isn't it? <laughs> I think you'll get this. In the Bible, who did David slay with a slingshot? Goliath. Goliath. Why be so shocked? <laughs> it's Here's the one. The moment of truth. The parrot or the cockatiel is going, come on. All right. <laughs> 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 General knowledge. I'm going to bite your old man if you don't. <laughs> in the classic Disney film Bambi, don't run into this. In the classic film Bambi, what type of animal is Thumper? It's a little thing. Rabbit. A rabbit, yes! <laughs> there are the keys. Thank you, Pat Pauline. Seven. Number seven. You had no doubt about that. Is it a lucky number or something for you? There you are. Seven pound. No. Seventy-seven pound. No. Two hundred pound. No. That was a quick jump. Seventy-seven. Two hundred pound. No. Two hundred fifty pound, Paul. No. Come on, Pauline. I can tempt you. <laughs> you can, you can, you can, you can, you can put your hand up. Put your hand up. Fifty pound. Hundred pound. One hundred fifty. Two hundred. Two hundred fifty. Three hundred pound. Three hundred fifty pound. No. Pauline. Four hundred. Look at it, Pauline. Four hundred pound. You can get a lot of parrot food for that. 450. I'm going to go what? 500 pounds? What should she do? That's my last offer. What are you going to do? Come on, Pauline, tell me. She's going to open the box. She's going to open the box. She took a long, deep think, and she's turned down 500 pounds. That's a lot of money. You can open box number. We wish you luck, Pauline. Take a steady. Come on, Paulie! Come on, Paulie! There you are. That little cockatiel is going bananas if it's watching this. And the dogs will be running around the house. It's going. Oh, you're in a right old state, aren't you? You turned down five hundred pounds, and you've won tonight's treasure chest with one thousand five hundred. Come on, let's go and get it! Come on. Oh, yeah. Pick it up and show the 
good is that? Come on, it's yours. Pick it up. Pick it up. Hold it. There you are. It's yours. Hold it. There you are. You got it. You got it. You got it. You're holding it. <laughs> Alison! Wow, this mayhem here. It is, isn't it? Well, Alison's vital statistic is 38. Hi! 38 you got! Well, you're here, that's a good play. Hey, on your other vital statistics, you have a little picture of Desmond. That's very nice. You are from Brands Hatch, and all the girls... All the gang here tonight, does that mean you're involved with the actual racing? I'm a reservations coordinator. A reservations coordinator? <laughs> well, of course you are. That's, what a silly... I mean, what's that got to do with motor racing? I'm it? in the ticket office. Oh, you're in the ticket office? <laughs> I assume that you occasionally... Do you ever get in a car? Yes. Have you ever... <laughs> well, you said you... In the yes, no, or did I imagine it? Did you say you crashed into a lorry or something? It was only a little dent. It was only a little yes. dent? <laughs> what about your driving test? I've just seen this written on the bottom. It says you backed into a lorry. Was that lorry we were talking about? No, this was another one. <laughs> It was his fault, though. You backed into him and it was his fault? He shouldn't have been there. <laughs> <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that wonderful female logic? And you are absolutely right. It's Get nice. out of my way. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful. All right. Great fun. OK. First question. These are the silly ones, Alison. If a farmer has an overgrown small holding... See a doctor. Pardon? See a doctor. See a doctor? <laughs> Do you want to write some of these funny ones? Well, it does say if a farmer has an overgrown small holding, should he wear bigger trousers? <laughs> Get his wife to give him a trim or put down some weed killer? Put down some weed of killer. Of course, right. Very good. I like your sense of fun. <laughs> Come a little closer. Name the movie heartthrob who fell for Julia Roberts in Pretty Woman. Who was the guy? Richard Gere. It was Richard Gere. <laughs> do you watch television? I do. You watch her, you probably know this. Paul Nicholas and Jan Francis play feuding lovers, Vince and Penny. And which comedy favourite? Just Good Friends. Just Good Friends! Yeah, <laughs> the uh, What do you think? Number one. Number one! All oh, right, there you go. Number one. Number one, I'll give you £50. No. £100? No. £150? No. £150? No. 160. No. 180. No. 190. No. 200. No. 250 pounds. No. 300 pounds. What should she do? No. Take the money. Over the box. What are you going to do? My fine locker. Take the money. Over the box. I'm going to take the money. You're going to take the money. Yes. All right. 300 pounds. Here we go. Put your hand up. 50 pounds. 100, 150, 200, 250, 300. And you've turned out box number one. Let's hope you did it right. There you go. Because I think you need the money to patch your car up, <laughs> don't you? Right, turn it around, give it to me, let's see what you've turned out. What you've turned out. You've got 300 pounds, so that's good news, isn't it? It is. And you've turned down a wonderful trip to Las Vegas. Oh! <laughs> I'm so sorry. Give us a kiss. Oh, well, you got 300 pounds. I hope you had a good night. Oh, that's sad. Never mind. Thank you very much. Oh, dear. And the next contestant in here. Oh, Louise. Well, Louise, who has walked all the way from Lambeth, <laughs> has scored 24 seconds. 24 seconds, Louise. You are Louise Woodbine? Yeah, Woodbine. Oh, it's just seeing if you Wait listen. a minute and I'll... Wood... Vibe. Wood vibe. Yeah. You're 70 from Lambeth. Now, is yeah. this correct, Louise? I'm going to read this. You have nine children uh, and 33 grandchildren. Yeah. That's true? true. Now, your husband, what did he do? I mean, like, what, um... <laughs> what, what, was his, what was his job? Oh, he, he worked in the gas works did and he? then he went in the army. Yes. He must have got a lot of leave, I assume. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's home a lot, obviously. Oh, yeah. 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 It says your... Is, is your husband still romantic? Well, now and again, but I'll get to, you know... <laughs> yeah, keep going, Mal. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't shout. You can say whatever you want. Shut up. <laughs> Who 
Who are you talking to then? June. June, is she one of your... Go one, two, three, fourth one up, third one in there, she's hiding. How many of your flock are here tonight? Only me and June. Only she's you and June? Cousin. She looks like she's busting out all over up there. <laughs> all right, here we go. First question. How do you measure the height of a horse? Hang on. Is it hands, knees, or bumps a day? <laughs> hands. <laughs> it's hands. <laughs> ah. Cockney Eliza Doolittle went to Professor Higgins for elocution lessons in which classic musical? My Fair Lady. Yeah, My Fair Lady. <laughs> Who was the Lady of the Lamp? Florence Knight. Yes! Yeah, shut <laughs> there! Good God, why are you worried? <laughs> OK, there are the keys. Take your pick. Uh, with the keys. Ten, number ten! That's a good one. There you go, number ten. Oh! Number ten! Number ten. <laughs> right. Now, number ten, Louise, don't get panicky. Number ten is the key that will also open box 13 tonight. Right, now then, there's two there. I'll tell you this. I do not know what's in one to ten, but I do know what's in box 13. Now, it could mm. be good, could be not so good. It's entirely up to you. Mm -hmm. First of all, we have to let the viewers at home know, and only the viewers at home. This is what's contained in box 13 tonight. <laughs> We're running late. Ten no, pounds. Like, no. That's what he's saying. Hurry it up, because we're no. twenty pounds. No, thank fifty you. pounds. No, thank you. hundred pounds. No, thank you. No, hundred and fifty pounds. No, thank you. You're gonna no, two hundred. You're gonna go, no, are you? you. No, She's gonna no, go all the no, way. No. It wouldn't matter. I know. I look in the eyes and I know when the <laughs> you're, you're gonna you can turn down two hundred and fifty pounds. Yep. She's turned up now. Another big decision. Do you want box thirteen or do you want your original one, which is box I'll 10? Have thirteen? You're gonna have thirteen. <laughs> You've got to open box 10. <laughs> Louise, you've turned down 10. You do understand that? Yeah. This is not what you're going to get. No. OK? <laughs> All right, Louise. <laughs> you've turned down a dipstick. <laughs> yes, you've done that right so far. <laughs> OK, hang on to that. That's what you turned down. Now, I get to open box 13. I've got my fingers crossed. No. All right, box 13. This is what you've won. You have won two tickets to the pictures. Ah, good. Do you like pictures? Yeah. Well, these are slightly different, sort of... This is where they make the pictures. This is a trip to Universal Studios in Los Angeles for two! You're going to go all the way! Box 13 winner has won a sensational trip to Universal Studios in Hollywood, where they'll get their very own VIP tour of all the thrills and spills. Well, it's all happened tonight. The honeymooners won the bed, a thousand pounds in the treasure chest, and Louise has won a wonderful trip. It all happens on Take a Pick. See you next week. Good night. I think these aces and eights need 20 minutes on the naughty step. They made more than a mess last week, and I reckon it's not over till the general manager sings. Tonight at 9, TNA presents brand new Impact Wrestling.